by the mid-Triassic period, small bipedal thecodon archosaurs had evolved into the first dinosaurs, which were small, bipedal, meat-eating theropods. These theropods diversified, and one of their descendant lineages became the prosauropods, which were herbivorous. The first prosauropods were also small and bipedal. Prosauropods were the first group of plant-eating dinosaurs. They were very successful and they spread all throughout the world. As early dinosaurs of the mid-Triassic, they were one of the dinosaurs' first success stories, but they were also one of the dinosaurs' first failures. In the mass extinction at the end of the Triassic period, most prosauropods became extinct, and the last prosauropods became extinct uh, in the Jurassic uh, period shortly afterwards. As they specialized on becoming the first herbivorous dinosaurs, some prosauropods became larger and modified their posture from being obliquate bipedal animals, which were small, like the first prosauropods, to larger animals, which could be either bipedal or quadrupedal. By the end of the Triassic period, some prosauropod lineages could be even larger still. And as such, they became obligate quadrupeds, where their body size had modified to the point where they would have needed to move on all fours uh, all the time. And so during the Triassic, prosauropod lineages began as small bipedal forms, and over time many adapted to become larger and facultatively bi uh, bipedal and quadrupedal to obligate quadrupeds 13 meters long.